Today on our 2019 Kia Sorento, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Class 3 2-inch Eco Hitch Hidden Trailer Hitch Receiver. Now this is what the hitch is going to look like installed. Now one of the things that separates this one from many of the others on the market is its appearance. The only thing you're going to see is the receiver tube opening. As compared to many of the others, you'll see a tube here. And this one does not show that. So if looks is an important feature that you're going after, this may be a better choice for you. Another thing that sets this hitch apart is its alloy construction. It's made from recycled materials, so it's a little more eco-friendly. But don't let that sound fool you. It's still really strong and durable. It actually has a maximum tongue rating of 350 pounds. So that's the amount of weight pushing down on the receiver tube opening. Now it has a maximum trailer weight of 3,500 pounds. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now it's always a good idea to check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can pull that much weight. Now this is a class three hitch, so we're gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. It's also gonna have a nice reinforced collar. Now it does utilize a standard size five eighths hitch pin which this does not come included with the kit, but if you need one, you can pick one up on eTrailer.com. Now the safety chain loops are a plate style that is welded to the bottom. To be honest with you, the holes aren't that big, especially when you have your pen in place. However, they're big enough to get a decent sized hook in there with not a whole lot of interference. So it will get the job done. Now this being a class three hitch, it's going to be very versatile. There's a ton of different accessories that we can use it with. Now that it's installed on our Kia, we can use it for things like bike racks, cargo carriers, or even to use it to pull a small trailer. Now speaking of accessories, I'm gonna give you a few measurements that'll help you when choosing which ones to buy. Now from the center of the hitch pin hole to the back of the bumper will be about three and a half inches. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening will be about 13 and a half inches. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we already went ahead and removed our spare tire just to give us some more room to work. All right, our next step is to remove this panel here on the driver's side. There's gonna be a few push pin fasteners and up in the top there's some plastic nuts that we'll remove with the 14 millimeter socket. It's not very tight. You can do it by hand. You might have to kind of pull down, give it a little pressure like that just so they pop off. And for these push pins, you can use a flat blade screwdriver or a trim panel removal tool and just pop out. And it should just drop out of place and we'll set this to the side for now. Now for our next step, we're going to lower the exhaust. It's a good idea to use a strap. That way when we take the exhaust off of its hangers, it doesn't come flying down. So this will help support it a little bit. So we go ahead and put a strap across. And now we're going to remove three exhaust hangers. The first one is right here on the back of the muffler. The next one is right here on the back side of the muffler. And the next one is right here in the center of the vehicle. It makes it a little easier to use some spray lubricant on the hangers, that way it's a little bit easier to pop out. And you can take a pry bar and get behind the hanger. Just carefully pry it away and remove it from the exhaust. All right, next I like to point out our attachment points. They're gonna be the same on each side. We're gonna have two holes here with well nuts inside of those and two holes here and these actually go through. So we're gonna use a bolt 
that goes all the way through and a nut on the other side. Now you may or may not have plastic caps covering these holes. If you do, no big deal. Just take a flathead screwdriver and pry underneath them and pop them free. Now it's also a good idea to use some lubricant and a two brush to clean the threads out. If you need one of these two brushes, you can find one on eTrailer.com. And that'll just help the bolts go in a little bit easier. Now anything we do to this side, we'll go ahead and do to the other. Now with an extra set of hands, we can go ahead and put our hitch into place. All right, it makes it easier to take your long bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer on it. Just push it through the frame rail from the inside out. And that should hold it in place for now. The hardware for the bottom side of the hitch will be using the included shorter bolts with a flat washer and a lock washer. Like I said earlier, there's actually a weld nut inside of the frame, so these will just thread right in. But we'll get everything hand tight for now until we get all the hardware installed. Now this is going to be the exact same setup on the other side. For the hardware for the side of the hitch, we're going to use these included long bolts with a flat washer and a lock washer. Now these come in from the inside out, so you just push them through. Now on the other side, where we push that bolt through, we'll use a flat washer and a nut. And with all the hardware in place and hand tight, we can go ahead and snug everything down. And once everything is snug, we can then get a torque wrench and torque everything down to the specification that you can find in your instructions. All right, with all of the hardware torqued down to the specification, we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. It helps to just use some lubricant again. This makes it a little easier to push back on. Now we can reinstall our little plastic cover. Now the last step that we would need to do is reinstall our spare tire. However, for video purposes, we're not gonna do that today. But you can rest assured that the spare tire does fit properly with our hitch installed. And that'll do it for our look at an installation of the Class 3 2-inch Eco Hitch Head-In Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Kia Sorento.